That song, you can hear the wind. It was a wind, wind song. My people is the indigenous people of Sweden, Finland, Norway, and Russia. Sami people. But wherever I go all over the world, the wind and the sun will always follow my path, as we also call as the people of wind and the sun. And uh, we live here. That is Sápmi, Sámi land. My name is Sofia Janok and I'm from that land. And uh, I just arrived this morning to Mumbai. Quite a contrast. <laughs> the nice guy uh, who picked us up, uh, he said, you know what, uh, this is winter in Mumbai. I'm like, hey, you don't know anything about winter. That, my friend, is winter, minus 36 degrees. Have you seen the movie Avatar? You know that, uh, that big Hollywood production with uh, spectacular 3D effects and uh, blue people signed uh, James Cameron? However, I saw it last year and it hit me like an arrow towards my chest. For those of you who haven't seen it, I can explain the plot. It's about uh, the human race in a future where they have destroyed Mother Earth, emptied her of all resources, and now started to find other planets to invade. A big mining company finds uh, valuable resources on a paradise pa planet full of life. So now they want to invade it. Problem is that on this planet, there are already living others, inhabitants. Blue-skinned people are living there in perfect harmony with animals and nature. But the company shows no mercy. The natives have to be moved or destroyed. When I saw this movie, I, I cried throughout the whole story because uh, it was so familiar. To me, it was like a painful documentary of present life, my life. This is how it is for my people, if not to say for all indigenous people all over the world. Some big companies driven by people whose goal is money invades our home, uh, forces us to move, or simply gets rid of us. Whether you eliminate people by actually killing them or by killing the conditions to life in freedom, it pretty much makes the same harm. You can't live if you don't have enough oxygen to breathe. The difference b between the movie and reality is that the movie has a happy ending. For those of you who haven't seen it and don't want to hear the end, I will now tell it so you can just close your eyes. Um, the movie ends with a mining company is forced back and uh, the planet remains unexploited. The natives can keep on live on their motherland happily ever after, like all the Hollywood productions end, with a love story, of course. But uh, in reality, we are far from that. We have the same scenario in my land. But the colonization started for like 400 years ago. But what wor worse is, it still has not stopped. Out on the tundra, 
you need to play by the rules of nature. Weather, wind, terrain and daylight all make a difference in how to make your movements, when to wait for snowstorms to pass and when to keep on going before the dark hits. Sami traditional way of living relies on the livelihood, reindeer husbandry and on the respect of nature. Reindeer are free animals. They wander over great areas. They know the way to go because they have always been wandering the same path. And we, we follow them. We go where reindeer goes. Our population is about 100,000 people. It could be more. It feels like we are more, but scientists have uh, trouble counting us. Maybe because we are a nomadic people, and nomadic people don't sit still, so it can be hard counting people that don't sit, sit still. Um, scientists also call us moribund. I've been told that I do music in one of the smallest languages in the world. One day it will be so small that it disappears. But I, I laugh at these reports. Moribund? Come on. To me, we are very alive, and I'd like to keep it that way. Problem is, in a democracy, majority decides. Minorities have very little to come up with. This is my grandfather. He taught my mother, and my mother and father taught me that we borrow our home from Earth. We can't own it, we don't possess it. Since we all only borrow it for the short time we will be staying here, we have to leave it the way it was when we first arrived. Because when we go, our children will need a home, and, and their children yet to come will need a home. Every decision we make, we have to think of the consequences of it, not only in the nearest decade, but at least four generations ahead, at, at least 200 years forward. As we all know, this way of thinking is not the only way. It seemed that Samiland, it seemed that Samiland, where my people have been living in like forever, is a very rich area. People of government started to come. They put up flags, they drew borders right across our, our land. They cut down hectares of woods. They drowned our, our home with, with water. They dug big wounds in the mountains. They forced us to move to make room for others. They showed no respect, neither to nature nor to the people living there. Funny, the funny thing is that although they stole the mountains, they forgot to change the name of them. So each mountain is still carrying the name in our language. Even the mines do. The rivers are still singing in Sami. So we have not given up, nor have the land. Just before coming here to Mumbai, a friend told me with uh, tears in his eye corner, he was devastated. He said, now they are coming. A mining company has got permission from the Swedish government to destroy the winter pastures of my friend's uh, reindeer society. They will dig for copper and they start this February. The planned mine will uh, cut the reindeer's natural path and destroy a huge area of untouched land. This can mean the end for this reindeer society and more, even more. And this is the consequences of one single mine. There are five more in the same area, and 20 more are waiting for prospecting. Above the mine, there is always another industry. The human race consumes more than what Earth can produce. And due to that, the ch climate changes remarkably. In the Arctic area where I come from, you can clearly see the changes. Usually we have a lot of snow this time of year. Now there's hardly none. Glaciers are melting. Rainy winters causes icy ground, which means no food for animals. You've heard how badly ice bears are drowning. Listen also when I say that reindeer are starving. I've seen them die 
myself. The poor winters are coming more and more often. Sweden, where I live, is known as the most modern land in the world with a heart of democracy and equality. Why on earth is it that the issue of the indigenous people's rights in the same land is under investigation for the last 20 years or more? If we really are more abound, when will the government start respecting us when we are already gone? I don't want my children to read about me in a museum. I think it's moving way too slowly. I'd like to see a change before I leave this earth. And I'm not the only one. We might be few, but we are young and we are proud. And together with all the indigenous people around the world, we are many. So uh, what we need is for people to know about our existence. So I, um, I decided to try making a difference. I started a foundation which carries the name of my home tundra, Arvas. Arvas Foundation is to work on the, uh, to increase the knowledge about us, to work on the indigenous people's rights and on the respect of, of Mother Earth, no matter where we come from. I dream of a world where Earth is as beautiful as nature can be. I dream of a world where Sami people and all our sisters and brothers all around the world are free and independent. I dream of a happy ending like the one in the movie, Avatar. He Thank you.